Don't wanna go through this life without you. Okay, we are back here on Q101 Chicago with Marty Casey of regional favorite, The Love Hammers. Marty, isn't it true that the rock and roll lifestyle, even at your level, brings with it some trappings of rock fame? Do you mean like groupies and stuff? Well, sure, like that. Did you develop any devoted fans? Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, usually we only have about 200 people in the audience, so we kind of get to know everybody. But girls, yeah. Well, there was this one, when I guess you'd say she was more like a stage five clinger. <laughs> she was from South Florida somewhere, and so we'd see her like front row and center at like every show down that way. I think her name was Wendy. Well, then we started to see her turn up in other parts of the country, like, you know, at a show we played at the VFW Hall in Cedar Rapids. So she really became, you know, like our Penny Lane from the movie Almost Famous. Oh, nice. Anyway, to be honest, it started to get a little weird in the early 2000s. First, she started just showing up in really inappropriate places. One time I was getting my license renewed at the Driver's License Bureau in Evanston, and all of a sudden, there she is in line with me, you know? So I'm kind of stuck there for like an hour with her, and she's chatting away about how I'm a better musician than Kurt Cobain and the next John Lennon and everything. So finally, I interrupt and say to her, Hey, Wendy, by the way, what are you doing here? Do you live in Cook County? She's like, no, duh. I live in Boca Raton, Florida. And I'm like, okay. Clinger. Yeah. But like after that, she started bringing her husband around Chicago. That's when we started wondering if these guys were like super fans or were just into some kinky shit. <laughs> oh, uh oh, what are we talking about here, Marty? Well, after one show, for example, she and her old man get backstage, and all of a sudden, she's putting on some kind of parlor trick with coins in her ass cheeks. It was her birthday, and he sang happy birthday to her while she played ass quarters. I mean, it was cool to be honest. She was able to like hold them in the crack of her ass, then flip them around the room and shit into beer glasses, wherever. Holy crap, Marty. Too bad you guys didn't break through. You could have put her on tour with you. I know, right? Anyway, if you're out there, Wendy, happy birthday, dear Wendy. Happy birthday to you. 